Daddy's here. When Daddy's here, everything runs. <laughs> All right, back to Garage Garage. We actually get to work inside today. Thank you, big wigs. Thank you, all the other people. We are gonna get stuff done. First thing we're gonna do is the battle rope. Battle rope is a new thing to me, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a new thing to Gary. Number two, cooling and fueling. If we don't cool the motor, we don't fuel the motor, she ain't gonna be happy. And number three, throttle linkage. Uh, if we don't have it, she don't go. Number four, we'll be ordering our parts today and making sure that we have all the material for the cage. Very important to make this thing safe because I don't want to see anybody at the Hoonigan garage get hurt. Oh shit. oh shit! I think that's about all we have to talk to you about today. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Luckily today, we got some Bitching parts in. NRG came through with the steering wheel adapter that goes onto the actual steering shaft itself for the easy go carts and other golf carts. We then had an NRG steering wheel. We went to Amazon and got us a regular B16 aluminum radiator. Also, as we used before on the caster car project, we got a fuel cell. Just a little baby three gallon. Something we could fit underneath the seat. Enough to hold the fuel, get us by. We went and got some lines to make the fuel lines. And we got some hood paint. Let's go ahead and get this stuff uh, over there on that thing. What's the first thing you're doing, Brad? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the motor back out. And I need to reposition it an inch over and an inch back. Just for fitment issues for the seat. Yo, so you got the motor all in? Yes, sir. How do you how do you feel about it? I'm better now that it's tilted forward, moved over, belts are all aligned. Now we're doing some kind of like radiator mounts. These are gonna be the posts that these sit on. Because the radiator sits on that, we're gonna weld that to that and that to the frame. So we're actually gonna take this inch and a quarter neck and reduce it down to one inch so it matches the motor. These are gonna go something like this. So it's gonna mount down like that with these little ba babies like holding the radiator up like this and the radiator's just gonna set down in there. That's cool. Yeah. So that's what you're gonna do right now? Um, this and we're gonna do the steering wheel. What's up, Dan? Hey. We got our Ryan's literal steering wheel mounted. You did this today? Yeah, that's my favorite Dude, driver. Is it in quick the world. release? Yeah. Whoa, it's really hot. Yeah, it just got welded. Wow, you did that just now. Yes. Well, that's cool. I still didn't do it. Ah, that's rad. <laughs> Rear mount radiator. <laughs> you see that? And we're definitely gonna get some bash bars. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> At all. Well, uh, you look like you had a lot to do with it. Yeah, dude. Your current demeanor. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. I'm excited. These are the crazy shit that I enjoy doing. I mean, it's, it's like a baby version of your tea bucket. It basically, it is. Way yeah. too much horsepower for way too small. Not tires. enough steering and awkward seating. Perfect. <laughs> 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 He's been asking me for help all day. <laughs> He's been too busy. And I've avoided him. Dude, this is going to be so sweet. You've done a good job already. It's... Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of mad that I haven't been able to work on this, because this looks so much fun. Glad I could show up at the end of the day and do absolutely nothing, but, but admire your work. <laughs> it's good we work! You, I think. It's good work! Brad! What? What's going on, dude? Yeah, we are back at the Garage Garage, Tilly's golf cart build. So, uh, we got a lot of great parts here today. We've got a fuel pressure regulator, about the cheapest fuel pressure regulator you can. The reason why we have to have a regulator is because these carburetors don't really like a lot of pressure on the needle and seats. So we're gonna go ahead and regulate it to like one, one and a half pounds. We went and sure we got the matching uh, 
as cheap as you can fuel pump. Over here, we got some really cool air filters for the carburetor so we don't suck in a lot of dirt from that old golf course. We've got our water cooling lines. This will run from the radiator to the motor safely. Fuel lines, obviously from our fuel pump to our regulator to our carburetor. And all the glorious clamps that we need. We found some bitchin' seat belts left over from our UTV project. So, we got absolutely really nice seat belts to go into this golf cart that should be exceptionally safe. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time, but I got a lot of energy. So let's get this thing done. Welcome back guys, as we're getting at it, getting a lot of things done. We went ahead and raised our bracket right here. That's to rest this old uh, piece right here on here. So that when the seat hits down, it has something to rest on. We have room for our spark plugs, everything else. We also made room for our gas tank and our battery. Went ahead and made a mount for both the battery and the gas tank. We're gonna have to make some straps to strap them down but this is where they're gonna go. We went ahead and ran the water lines back to where we wanna know the radiator's gonna go, but we've been running into interference problems with this. This bottom hose, like, it can't hit this belt. It can't even be a part of anything a part of that belt. I mean, it has to go down here. And we're going to weld like this. And this is the size of the water line. Okay. So we might just have Dan bend us a piece up and up like that. So like, but given that said, we can mount this over here like this, and this thing will actually be up here. You know what I'm saying? And then the hose yeah. will go into it like that. I mean, hose positioning, I like the hose positioning. I'm cool with, you know, the hose will work. ba doom bada boom you know, bada bing, bada bing. Hose positioning, I'm actually content with. These mounts, these ugly ass mounts, weren't long enough to get underneath this deal here. And now, they are. We still are gonna have to run some brackets down here to make this strong, but if you watch, step back, this now closes. And this now closes. Oh, what a but basically, <laughs> we have closing. She's as close as she's ever been. <laughs> this is a combustion chamber. So on a four-stroke motor, you have a combustion chamber that's inside the motor. Two-stroke, two strokes, meaning up, fire, down. The combustion chamber or the combustion that's done that creates the vacuum that draws the fuel into the cylinder is done right here in the exhaust. Because two-stroke motors don't have cams and don't have valves. So if we go and modify this piece right here, we will fuck the motor up, basically. We went in and got all our air cleaners installed. Our radiator is pretty much precariously mounted after I destroyed all these fins over here trying to get it in with this stupid trap. Got our fuel cell mounted. This is our exhaust. Some temporary wires just holding this up. This goes. Wow. All right. Morning. What's going on? Oh, we got some more good parts in the mail. I'm trying to widen the back end of this thing out, you know, give it a big fat ass. I believe these are inch and a half wheel spacers. Other than the wheel spacers, what's going on today? It is, we're gonna finish, the kind of cool thing is we're gonna finish the exhaust, welding it all up, getting the out, put out the side. And then we're gonna get this radiator pulled off and hopefully get Dan to weld up the necks so that we can attach the water lines. And I'm working on the plumbing for the fuel pump and the wiring for the battery so that we can hopefully fire it up. Basically got our cheap 
faucet, low pressure fuel pump. Low pressure meaning somewhere between five and seven PSI. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and mount this thing down here on this fuel rail, kind of like a stock car, just right underneath the battery. The outlet for the fuel is right here. So all this fuel level here is gonna push the gas out right into that pump. It's not gonna have to work hard in order to get the fuel to the motor. And our battery's right here. So basically we don't have to run very far to go to the switch, which we're gonna put right here to the pump, to the battery. And then the fuel line's gonna go back around right over there to the fuel filter. So, and that's what we're gonna do today. I mocked all this ugliness up right here. I'm gonna put a rod to support this to here so this just isn't hanging. And maybe a little outlet. And then I'm gonna pull this all off, weld it, and go from there. Word on the street is you got a little elf helping you today. <laughs> I've got the best elf helping me today. What do we got going on here, Dan? Well, he needed some uh, radiator piping. So he's gonna integrate everything into one rather than having like a bunch of mismatched hoses. We're gonna weld some tubes onto the radiator and make it all one unit so it's easy to get off to then put into the engine with the hoses. So, bending up some aluminum, which I've never done before. Reason being is it, it kind of stretches right here and it makes it really thin and e easy to crack. But this stuff's so thick, it's pretty good for it. So, I was able to make one. I need to make a couple more. The reason I was late today is because I got this. Doo -doo -doo. J squared. I could see myself wasting a lot of time using that new uh, plasma table. It's gonna be amazing. But right now, the job at hand, gotta bend some more stuff up. Let's get it done, because we don't have a lot of time. No, we got a golf tournament in a couple days. And this has gotta get there. How's it look? Pretty cool. I like it. Look at that tied out. Look at that exhaust. She's done. She's ready to rip. Potato chip. That is badass. Yeah, it's cool. Now it's we don't have rubber hoses down here. Yo, I cleaned out a whole bunch of uh, styrofoam that was in it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Packing from the yeah. factory. I love it. For our radiator. Looks like we got our radiator done. We got everything cloned up. We're gonna cut it for today, get back at it tomorrow. Hopefully get this thing fired up and running for you guys tomorrow. All right, back at it. Got my buddy, Dan! What's up, dude? We are gonna smash shit out today. I'm not even lying. We are gonna make this thing look so bitchin'. We got our fabricator here to do our bitchin' cage. We We're gonna get this last, what did you say? We don't have much time. No, no, we do we not. Gotta get ripping. We gotta get We gotta going. go. All right, so <laughs> this golf tournament in, go. what, two days? Two days? Yeah. All right. You gonna shoot under 90? I'm not shooting for it. I gotta work. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, what's the first stuff we're gonna work on? Uh, I gotta make a battery strap, because the battery's gotta get strapped down. I gotta get the wiring to the fuel pump and the fan, and make sure that we have no leaks on the fuel and the water. And at that point, I can stop and then start giving Dan a hand on the cage stuff. Dan, what are you working on? I gotta make uh, cage pads because uh, we don't really have anything to tie into. So I'm gonna nick this off, grind some of this stuff down, put a plate here, and then I gusset in here to make it stronger. And then I gotta cut back some of the flooring up here to make a front pad. So I'm just gonna do a really tall main hoop, which is probably looks stupid, but it's a golf cart. So there's that, and then I'll run two A pillar bars and one dash bar because the steering's pretty. It moves.
Went ahead and got all these hard lines welded up on the radiator so that we have it converted from inch and a quarter down to one inch. And we don't have to run these rubber lines all the way down. We can run them to these nice hard lines. As well as we got our bracket for our battery mounted. It's all good. And we've got our fuse box. So now we have a fuse box so that we can allocate fan, fuel pump, headlights, and two accessories, maybe a radio or stereo and something else. These are the plates for the cage to start on. So what's next? Uh, I've got to wire the fan. I've got to wire the fuel pump. We've got to put the water lines in, fill it up with water, fill it up with gas, and make sure that we don't have leaks. And at that point, we could probably fire it. And then we got to get the cage finished and the throttle cable. Blue, I like to use for fan because blue is cold. Always got to have a carbon fiber ignition switch. That will turn the car on and off. Red is for fuel. So this one will mark for fuel pump. So my goal is to get them, I, I think they're gonna be in a line like right here. So ignition on, fuel on, fans on. Nice. And then if you have an emergency, you just, done deal. So these two wires here are gonna extend this ignition switch right here all the way to over here. This loom right here has the fan wires and that's gonna go to this switch right here. Cool. Brad. <laughs> this is definitely the biggest man you've ever made. That's just, that made winter chicken dinner right there. So I'm gonna weld the plate right here, and then the A pillar bar will come up from here. Turn it on and see what happens. How'd you shut it up? I gotta put some water in. He just in. pulled out everything that he could find. That's what I did it. You did literally just pull all the wires, huh? I literally pulled every wire I could find. That's <laughs> garage, garage. That's garage, garage. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. I got a problem. <laughs> That's not a big problem though, is it? Not a problem at all. This is the only problem I have. I got this. <laughs> what are you doing? This shit runs, all right? You want me to turn do it on? Do it. Daddy's here. When daddy's here, everything runs. This so full of shit. That's pretty good though for sitting and having all the dirt going to air cleaners and all that shit. You guys did some good work here, boys. You know, I'm proud of you. I didn't do anything. Just, uh, Brad yeah, right. By himself? Yeah. Why you got gloves on? I'm trying to make it safer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there ain't no safety involved in this bitch. Dude, that's so close. To the radiator? Yeah, and when it was whipping through, I was just like flinching. Dude, we're, it's six pounds of shit in a five pound bag. It runs, that's all that matters. Not yet. We gotta clean up that fuel so I can weld around it. This is guessing at its finest. Should do. Should do. Thank you, Dan, for the f cage. You're the man. The golf tournament is gonna be bitching. <laughs> That's a wrap! <laughs> what technique is that, bro? 